Today on Shreveport Aquarium's Backyard Bayou, we're at Chimp Haven, just 22 miles southwest of Shreveport in rural Caddo Parish. This is the national sanctuary for retired chimpanzees. These chimps come from research facilities all over the United States, and this is their forever home. This is my new friend, Amy Fultz. Amy is the director of behavior and research for Chimp Haven. Amy, tell me what you do. Uh, my job entails a number of different things. I oversee our positive reinforcement training program, which is asking the chimpanzees to do something and then getting a treat. So getting them to cooperate with us for management and veterinary sort of things. That's what they do for me. <laughs> we also, um, my staff also works with enrichment for the chimpanzees. So making sure that as well as their physical well-being is being taken care of, their psychological well-being is also being taken care of. Another big part of my job is helping to socialize the chimpanzees when they arrive. So you're the party planner. <laughs> In part. My okay. staff and I, I would say. Yes, definitely. Um, and so when, a lot of the times when the chimpanzees arrive here at Chimp Haven, they haven't been in large groups. And one of the things that we do is help to get them in more naturalistic groups. And that can involve having chimps in groups of five to up to over 20. Um, chimpanzees. In the wild, they live in groups of 20 to 100. So wow. social in their interactions are really important to the chimpanzees. So it looks like some of these enclosures are like medieval castles with moats around them. What, what's the purpose? So chimpanzees actually can't swim. They will actually sink. So they have too much muscle mass and not enough body fat, so they don't float. So the moat actually makes a really good barrier between us and the chimpanzees and allows us also to be able to see them without barriers. So today we're going to be visiting Chicken's group and I want to introduce you to our assistant behavior technician, Emma Lyle. Hi, Hi. Welcome, Jake. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. We're going to give Chicken's group some bag treats. So these are nice little uh, paper lunch bags with pretzels in them and I'm sure they will be very excited, but the idea is it's a form of occupational enrichment, which is just something that makes it a little more difficult to get to the food. So they have to tear open the bags, um, look inside, explore, and it's just another way to keep them busy and happy and healthy. So how do you let them know that food's on its way? Um, so we like to do a food bark, which is the way that chimps let each other know that food is coming. Um, so it sounds a little bit like this. This is Ashley. Ashley's not very impressed with my throwing skills. Let's give it one more shot. So you might be wondering why we're dressed like surgeons. And that's because the chimps are, are very similar to we as humans uh, genetically. And that makes them susceptible to our respiratory infections and gastrointestinal infections and, and vice versa. So to make sure that we're not getting them sick and, and they're not getting us sick, we, we take the precautions like gloves and masks. So you've got over 200 chimpanzees here at Chimp Haven. How do they get here? What's, what's the journey that they take from where they've been retired to almost Shreveport, Louisiana? <laughs> well, the chimpanzees are actually coming from all over the United States. Uh, and when they come, they actually come in a truck that looks a little bit like a horse trailer. We have an expert shipper who's been in the business for over 15 years. And our veterinarian also travels to the facility and travels back with them. And once they arrive at Chimp Haven, they come here to our welcome center where they are in quarantine for a little while. So we can make sure that they're healthy and are acclimating to this new environment at Chimp Haven, which in some cases is very different than where they came from. And then 
we can integrate them into our population once they're acclimated. The, just like when we bring new fish into the Shreveport <laughs> Aquarium, right? We, we have to quarantine to make sure everybody's happy and healthy, yep. and then we get to go meet our new families. Right, exactly. So Chimp Haven sits on 200 acres of pristine Caddo Parish woodland, and, and how much of that is actually occupied by your facilities? Right now, we are utilizing about 100 acres for the care of the chimpanzees and, of course, for the staff as well. But we have lots of room to expand, which is a great thing because there are more chimpanzees waiting to come to Chimp Haven. In fact, we'll be retiring more chimpanzees this coming fall. So you guys have a, a waiting list to, to come to Chimp Haven. Yes. In fact, the National Institutes of Health back in 2013 actually decided that all chimpanzees that were federally owned in the United States should be retired. And Chimp Haven is the National Chimpanzee Sanctuary, so this is where their new home will be. It all started with, with a dream back in the mid-90s, right? <laughs> yes, it did. Um, myself and our other co-founder, Dr. Linda Brent, were working in a research facility with chimpanzees doing behavioral research. And at that time, the medical biomedical research was actually ending. And chimpanzees are the one species that um, is not actually euthanized at the end of research. Everyone agrees that we owe it to them to give them a proper retirement. So you broke ground here in what year? Uh, in 2002, actually. 2002. And then the first residents arrived in 2005. I've worked with the chimpanzees since the, the early 90s, and I still learn something new every day. I still see new things. Chimpanzees actually make and use tools. And uh, we have, we're in a forest in Louisiana, so sometimes there are snakes, and the chimpanzees have a very particular call. It's called an alarm bark, and it's a very loud, woo! I don't want to do it too loud, I'll scare the chimps. Um, but uh, I heard that call and went to go investigate and see what was happening, and one of the female chimpanzees, Sarasota, was actually modifying a stick into a spear and was getting ready to use it to try to spear the snake. The, oh, wow. the snake got away, but I have the spear tool in my office to this day. So Chip Haven is only open to the public uh, just a, a few days out of the year. Can, can you tell me about that? Yeah, we're only open six days out of the year to the general public because we are retiring chimpanzees regularly. We're open uh, for our first time this fall on September 16th for our Chimpanzee Discovery Day. And that is typically on a Saturday morning from nine to noon. People can come out and talk to our staff members, learn about the chimpanzees and Chimp Haven as an organization as well. And we also have some different educational and fun activities for the kids. So how can you get involved with Chimp Haven? Is, are there volunteer opportunities? There certainly are. We are definitely um, welcoming to volunteers and you can find out more both about our events, the Chimpanzee Discovery Days, the Chimp Chat and Chew, and volunteering for Chimp Haven at our website at chimphaven.org. So there you have it, an inside look into Chimp Haven, the national sanctuary for chimpanzees right here in our backyard just around Keithville. And even though Chimp Haven is only open about six days a year for Discovery Days, it sits inside of the Eddie D. Jones Park, which is open year round for bike riding, horseback, hiking, anything you can imagine right here all around Chimp Haven in your backyard.